So can you speak to the intentionality that your mother brought to her callers in choosing them? I think uh, originally uh, the idea was simply to have uh, a complement to men, men's ties. And the uh, original uh, Jabot was part of the French lawyer's uh, outfit. Uh, as, as time went on, she accumulated other collars, particularly, uh, I guess, after uh, 2013 with the advent of the notorious RBG Tumblr, which is when I <laughs> In, uh, a, a real public figure. And then uh, fans started to send columns uh, on a very regular basis. Uh, Mother's uh, Chambers assistant, uh, uh, Kim McKenzie, said that there would be weeks when they would get two or three callers a week from, uh, from uh, people in the general public who appreciated her. And then her staff would kind of sort through, make the first cut through all these colors that kept arriving. And then she would choose from among the, the colors that they had initially sorted. And so from you know, hundreds and hundreds, it whittled down to a relative few. Yeah. One interesting thing is that she would assign roles to different colors. Of course, there was a very famous descent color, which is in a very mm-hmm. sort of heavy black and uh, gray kind of uh, dour. <laughs> demeanor to the, to the collar that matched the, that she would have to issue a dissent. There's a much brighter um, majority opinion collar, uh, which I believe was a gift from her law clerks. I remember a particularly colorful one with a very Southwest flavor that she was given. It uh, was actually there when she was given it in uh, Santa Fe. Her per- personal favorite was one, uh, another very colorful one that she got uh, from Cape Town, South Africa. So these really um made the wardrobe and also helped uh i think helped um um um, journalists because uh, they would see which color she walked into the courtroom Mm -hmm. with and and know which way the case went 